स्पिरिचुअल मंथन वेलकम टू अ जर्नी टुवर्ड्स बिकमिंग अ सुपीरियर ह्यूमन बीइंग इन अ वर्ल्ड दैट ऑफन एम्फसाइजेस अटैचमेंट वी आर अबाउट टू एक्सप्लोर द सटल आर्ट ऑफ डिटैचमेंट अ पाथ टू इनर पीस इमोशनल फ्रीडम एंड पर्सनल ग्रोथ थ्रूआउट दिस वीडियो वील डेल्व इन टू द फोर की एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ डिटैचमेंट अंडरस्टैंडिंग डिटैचमेंट डिटैचमेंट इन रिलेशनशिप्स detachment from past experiences and detachment from material goals 1 understanding detachment in the hustle and bustle of our daily lives it's easy to become entangled in the web of attachments we chase after love success and material possessions believing that they hold the keys to our happiness but the truth is true contentment lies in understanding and practicing the subtle art of detachment detachment at its core is not about withdrawing from life's experiences but about engaging with them in a way that sets us free it's the wisdom to discern that our emotional well-being cannot be solely dependent on external circumstances instead it's the ability to find inner peace even when the world around us is in chaos imagine life as a grand tapestry woven with threads of joy and sorrow success and failure Detachment is the needle that allows us to step back and admire the beauty of the entire tapestry rather than fixating on individual threads. It's the realization that happiness is not a destination, but a state of being that we can choose to embrace regardless of the external circumstances. Detachment is the wisdom that emerges when we pull back the emotional veil that often clouds our judgment. This veil is woven from our desires fears and insecurities distorting our perception of reality when we are overly attached to something a person a goal an outcome our vision becomes skewed we may refuse to acknowledge warning signs when things are veering off course or overlook the flaws in our meticulously laid plans in essence attachment can make us resistant to the glaringly obvious truth We may believe that we have the power to control every aspect of our lives, but in reality, life is riddled with uncertainties and unpredictable factors. These unforeseen changes can be especially challenging to navigate when we are deeply attached, because we have invested so much of our emotions and identity into things we cannot fully control. Detachment, therefore, is not an abandonment of life. but a way of engaging with it more authentically it's about letting go of an unhealthy need for control and giving ourselves the freedom to experience life without excessive fear or worry it's like standing in the midst of a storm with unwavering inner peace knowing that the tempest cannot extinguish the flame within to practice the art of detachment we must first recognize that it's not about becoming emotionally numb or indifferent It's about having the wisdom to understand that our emotional well-being is not solely dependent on external circumstances. We can experience joy, love, and passion without being enslaved by them. It's about experiencing life fully, savoring its moments, and then allowing them to flow like a river, knowing that clinging to them will only cause suffering. Detachment invites us to be more present, to live in the moment. without being weighed down by the past or consumed by anxieties about the future it teaches us that while we cannot change the past we have the power to influence our present and future it's about accepting what has happened and letting go of the burdens of what could or should have been this acceptance is the key to unlocking our freedom liberating us from the chains of regret bitterness and guilt in essence The art of detachment offers us the opportunity to rediscover ourselves in the present moment. When we let go of the past, we make room for the now. This present moment is where life truly happens. It's where joy resides, where love blossoms, and where personal growth unfolds. It's a place of tremendous power where we align with our true selves and experience profound freedom. 2. Detachment in relationships. Now, Let's embark on a deeper exploration of how the subtle art of detachment can transform your relationships into sources of profound joy 
and personal growth. In our journey through life, we often stumble upon the complex terrain of love and relationships. We're raised with the notion that love means holding on to someone tightly, fixing their problems and making their lives better in every conceivable way. We mistakenly believe that true love demands us to become entwined with another person, to lose ourselves in the process. This, however, is not love, it's dependency. True love, in its purest form, is a magnificent dance between attachment and detachment, a harmonious balance that allows two souls to meet without overshadowing one another. But why should we embrace detachment in our relationships? 1. Liberation from taking things personally The first invaluable lesson of detachment is the liberation from taking everything personally. Often, we react intensely to the actions and behaviors of our loved ones, allowing their choices to shape our own emotional state. We might feel hurt or elation, depending on their actions, as if our well-being is a mere puppet in their hands. However, by embracing detachment, we understand that we cannot control the actions of others. We can only control our reactions. Detachment teaches us that the actions of our loved ones are a reflection of their inner world, their thoughts, emotions, and experiences. When we stop taking their actions personally, we free ourselves from the emotional roller coaster that their behaviors might otherwise trigger. We gain the wisdom to understand that their choices are not a statement about us. This newfound emotional equilibrium allows us to respond with empathy and compassion rather than reacting with anger or despair. 2. Preservation of self-worth. The second gift of detachment is the preservation of our self-worth. In relationships, it's easy to fall into the trap of seeking constant validation from our partners. We may begin to believe that our opinions, feelings and dreams are less important than theirs. This can lead to a gradual erosion of our self-esteem and identity. However, detachment reminds us that our self-worth is not contingent upon external validation. We realize that our opinions, feelings and dreams are just as valid as those of our partners. We begin to embrace our individuality and understand that we are complete and worthy beings on our own. This self-assuredness allows us to contribute to the relationship as equals, enhancing its depth and authenticity. 3. Embracing true love through acceptance. Lastly, detachment leads us to the profound realization that true love is rooted in acceptance, not control. It's the ability to cherish someone for who they are, rather than trying to mold them into our ideal image. In a healthy relationship, love is not about changing our partners to fit our desires, but about celebrating their uniqueness and individuality. When we embrace detachment, we honor the autonomy and freedom of our loved ones. We allow them to shine as their authentic selves. In this dance of love, both partners retain their individuality while coming together to create a beautiful, harmonious connection. It's a love that respects boundaries and encourages personal growth. Detachment teaches us that we cannot control or change another person, nor should we attempt to. Instead, we offer our support, understanding and love, nurturing an environment where both individuals can thrive independently. 3. Detachment from past experiences. Our past experiences often shape who we are today. They are the chapters of our personal history, filled with moments of joy, sorrow, triumph, and defeat. Yet, for many of us, these past experiences can also become chains that bind us, preventing us from fully embracing the present and experiencing the freedom that comes with detachment. Picture your past as a vast library, with each book representing a significant event or memory. Some of these books are filled with heartwarming stories, while others are marked by pain and regret. As we navigate the labyrinth of our memories, we often find ourselves lingering in the darker corners of this library, fixating on the pages that recount our mistakes, heartbreaks, and missed opportunities. But why should you consider detaching from your past experiences? The answer lies in the profound impact it can have on your present and future.
Detachment from the past is not about denying or dismissing your history. It's about facing your emotions head on, acknowledging their existence, and ultimately letting them go. It's akin to cleaning out that cluttered library, sorting through the books, and deciding which ones to keep and which ones to release. One of the most significant burdens that detachment from the past lives is the weight of regret. Regret is a heavy anchor that prevents you from sailing freely into the future. It's the voice that constantly reminds you of missed opportunities, wrong choices, and the road not taken. When you detach from the past, you release this anchor, allowing your ship to set sail unburdened by the regrets of yesterday. Bitterness is another emotion that can cloud your present if you cling too tightly to past grievances. Holding on to grudges and nursing old wounds can poison your current relationships and experiences. Detachment from past experiences enables you to forgive, not necessarily for the benefit of others, but for your own inner peace. It's like opening a window to let in fresh air after years of keeping a room locked and stagnant. Guilt is yet another emotion that often lingers from past experiences. Whether it's guilt over something you did or didn't do, it can weigh heavily on your conscience. Detachment doesn't absolve you of responsibility. It helps you accept the past without letting it define your present. It's the realization that while you can't change what happened, you have the power to shape your present and future. The real magic of detachment from the past lies in the present moment. This very moment is where life unfolds, where opportunities are seized, and where joy resides. When you're shackled to the past, you miss out on the beauty of the now. It's like trying to appreciate a breathtaking sunrise while constantly looking back over your shoulder at the fading darkness. The present moment is also where growth occurs. It's a fertile ground for self-discovery, learning, and personal evolution. When you detach from the past, you open yourself up to new experiences, new perspectives, and new horizons. You become more resilient, adaptable, and open to the possibilities that each day brings. Detachment is not about erasing your past or pretending it never happened. It's about accepting it as part of your story recognizing the lessons it has taught you, and then gently releasing its grip on your life. It's like setting those books in your mental library back on the shelf, acknowledging their presence, but no longer feeling compelled to read them repeatedly. 4. Detachment from material goals. In a world driven by consumerism and the relentless pursuit of more, detachment from material goals emerges as a profound and transformative concept it challenges the prevailing notion that acquiring possessions equates to success and happiness. Instead, it invites us to redefine our relationship with material wealth, prompting us to ask the crucial question, why should we detach from material goals? Picture this, a sleek sports car parked in your driveway, a designer wardrobe filled to the brim, and a sprawling mansion that seems to touch the sky. In conventional terms, these possessions signify prosperity and achievement. Yet, as we dive deeper into the art of detachment, we come to understand that our possessions have the potential to possess us. Detachment, in this context, is not a call to renounce all material possessions and embrace a life of asceticism. It's about recognizing that the significance we attach to these possessions can overshadow our true essence and purpose. It challenges us to reflect on the importance we assign to our belongings and the life we are constructing in pursuit of them. At the heart of this concept lies the fundamental query, is this truly important? When we detach from material goals, we embark on a journey toward genuine freedom. It's not a summons to abandon our possessions, but rather an invitation to release their hold on us. Our possessions should serve us not enslave us. It's the realization that we are more than the sum of what we own and the wealth we accumulate. Consider for a moment the burden of excessive possessions. The more we amass, the more we become responsible for maintaining, protecting, and safeguarding these acquisitions. In this pursuit, 
We often relinquish our freedom, the freedom to explore, to experience, and to cherish the intangible treasures that life offers. Material possessions, when held too tightly, can become shackles that bind us to a relentless cycle of consumerism. The desire for more, the fear of losing what we have, and the relentless pursuit of the next purchase can consume our time, energy, and mental space. It's a trap that many unknowingly fall into, a maze with no exit. However, detachment from material goals can break these chains. It's about evaluating what truly adds value to our lives. When we strip away the layers of excess, we create space for what genuinely matters our health, our relationships, our personal growth, our passions, and our service to others. Health, the most precious possession of all, often takes a backseat in the pursuit of material wealth. We prioritize our careers to the detriment of our well-being, only realizing the cost when our health falters. Detaching from material goals encourages us to re-evaluate our priorities, placing health at the forefront of our endeavors. Love, both the love we give and receive, is a treasure that surpasses any material wealth. Detachment urges us to invest in nurturing our relationships rather than focusing solely on acquiring possessions. In the end, it's the love we share that defines the richness of our lives. Personal growth becomes possible when we relinquish the superficial desires for material gain. Detachment opens the door to self-discovery, encouraging us to explore our talents, interests and passions. It invites us to cultivate the inner wealth that extends far beyond any external possessions. Passion, often buried beneath the weight of material aspirations, can flourish when we detach from the relentless pursuit of more. It's in pursuing our true passions that we find genuine fulfillment, transcending the temporary satisfaction that material acquisitions provide. Finally, detachment invites us to embrace the joy of service to others. It is in giving, in helping, in making a positive impact on the lives of others that we discover a profound sense of purpose. Material possessions may bring fleeting happiness, but the act of service brings enduring fulfillment. As we conclude this exploration of the subtle art of detachment, remember that becoming a superior human being is not about perfection, but progress. It's about weaving these principles into the fabric of your life, thread by thread. By understanding detachment, you'll find wisdom in letting go of control and embracing the unpredictability of life. In your relationships, detachment will set you free, allowing love to flourish without dependency. Detachment from the past will unshackle your present, enabling you to live authentically and with boundless joy. And when you detach from material goals, you'll discover that true wealth lies in the experiences and connections you cultivate. So, embark on this transformative journey of detachment, for it is the path to becoming not just a superior human being, but a liberated, fulfilled, and truly alive one. Life is a canvas. It's time to paint your masterpiece with the brush of detachment. Your story begins now, and it's a story of freedom, love, and purpose.